<clears throat> if you're wanting to get something done, if you're wanting to progress your business, um, start to think about it um, as improving on yourself, but also improving on your legacy. We have the 1880S Morgan Dollar Grade MS67 by PCGS. Hey guys, this is Drew with the Gusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. Another start to a video in a car, kind of weird, but we just left Royal Coins Houston. Uh, had some awesome uh, Thanksgiving uh, food. Uh, thank you, Sonny. Thank you, Blake. Thank you, Luis. Uh, just, just a really good group over there at Royal Coins Houston. Make sure uh, you follow their Instagram. I'm gonna put that in the description below. But let me just show you guys a few things real quick while I'm in the car. Uh, just some pretty nice coins today. So on the website, uh, the bust halves have been selling like crazy. Uh, bought this bust half from them today. Really nice coin. Uh, a few bigger coins today, like this one, uh, 1979S MS67, uh, and a few others that are that are going to be pretty cool to show you guys. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. Hey guys, this is Drew, just made it to the light box, hoping you are having a great time this holiday season with your family. Uh, we've, we've had a good holiday season so far, uh, set up a nativity scene in our house. Uh, here's a photo of it. Uh, we also, uh, you know, did a few other things. Uh, and thank you guys for allowing me to do what I'm doing so I can uh, stay at home more and enjoy time with my family. But first up, we're going to be talking about a cool thing that we bought uh, for the safe. Something that we've been uh, stacking a little bit here and there. Been buying some numismatic stuff. Uh, we'll show you what the what this coin looks like right here that we just picked up. Um, but there is um, a nice gold panda, 1995, one ounce. Uh, bought it from our uh, people at Royal Coins Houston. They actually came uh, and they said, hey, come on in the back, uh, get some nice Thanksgiving dinner. And uh, we ended up spending some time with them, uh, having some laughs. Uh, they're just really great people. I am just so excited to uh, be their friends and just know them. Uh, the thing about uh, friends that you always want to uh, know and, and keep consistency of is just asking, are they a giving person? Are they someone that that uh, you know seeks in the best interests of other people, not just only themselves? And uh, That's something that we all have to work on and um, something that I've seen that they're really good at. Um, but Let me hit, show you guys some heavy hitters that we bought at the shop. This is um, an 1879S Morgan Dollar graded MS67 by NGC. Um, the coin overall, there's not too many marks on it. Um, and it's a little bit tougher uh, of a date, especially in 7. Uh, I think the coin's just a gorgeous coin. Um, sometimes you get, like I said, you get that ugly toning. Um, but with most 67s, they're going to have to have that luster to make, it, to make it worth it. So most of the NGC and PCGS subs... Uh, they, they get MS67 coins. Luster has to be a very big factor in the coin. But there are a few things about this coin that stick out to me when I take a look at it. I just see this kind of mark on the face here. Um, little light scuffs on the coin. Um, and there's a little bit above the eyebrow. Um, for me, overall, I think the coin is nice, but I think it barely scratches by as a 67. Um, and for NGC, I think NGC gives more uh, of a lenience to, uh, to blast white coins. Um, and that's just what I've heard. Nothing that's actually, you know, factual. But uh, overall, a decent coin. Very uh, excited to have this type of inventory uh, available for you guys. Always uh, check out our website, acousticcollectibles.com, for coins like this. Here's another stunner. Uh, just right up the other one's alley here. We have the 1880S Morgan Dollar Graded MS67 by PCGS. I do think PCGS is a little bit more, um, a little bit more harsh in terms of grading on coins, and you can just tell that by the two coins themselves. Uh, this one has a, a lot less uh, scuffs on the face, 
a very very clean cheek here as we can see uh, a lot less uh, and a lot fuller of a strike in the hair as you can see as well um, so you know um, that's why some people send stuff to NGC instead of PCGS and also uh, when someone has a PCGS coin in hand uh, they know that it's going to be more valuable just based on that and we can also see that with current comps uh, comps for PCGS uh, coins are a little bit lower are actually a little bit higher than NGC comps so that's something that you guys gotta take a look at when buying individual coins uh, sometimes uh, they you know they they do demand a little bit more of a premium depending on uh, the grading company but like I said both stunning coins uh, when you get offered coins like this uh, they are they are pretty rare especially when you get up to 67 plus 68 so um, keep an eye out for stuff like this they'll always have a home Hey guys, this is Drew. Um, sitting down with you guys right now, I'm wanting to just talk to you face-to-face uh, -face about some stuff that we've been going through and doing. Uh, we've been talking about in the few past videos about uh, shows. Uh, we went to the Tennessee show. Was the Tennessee show worth it? We broke down the numbers for you. Um, but these past few weeks have been a little bit dormant in terms of shows. And so we've been having to change the game, think about it differently. Um, and so... What I would say to you guys today, and what's important for you guys to understand, is that are you the same animal when you're at a show and when you're at home? And that's what I've been asking myself. Am I the same animal that I am at a show that I am at home? Am I as driven? And as, am, I, <clears throat> am I going after it as much? Am I going after the people that uh, provide inventory for us? Am I reaching out to the people that uh, would buy things from us? Um, it's all things that we have to. I have to ask myself. Um, as a coin dealer and as someone that is striving to be uh, the best person I can be. Um, and that's something for you guys to understand as well about yourself. Um, <clears throat> if you're wanting to get something done, if you're wanting to progress your business, um, start to think about it um, as improving on yourself, but also improving on your legacy. Um, a lot of people on Instagram, a lot of people on Facebook sell coins. Um and I, I, list, I listened to them for a while, and I sold coins on there for a while. And <clears throat> and then I walked into Royal Coins Houston one day, right? And he said, Drew, I could sell coins. I can sell bullion on Instagram in a heartbeat, right? He's, he's like, but it's about a brand. It's about you. It's about what you want to do, right? And so over this past few weeks, we've been saying, you know what? Maybe we should stop selling on Instagram. Maybe we should stop selling on Facebook predominantly and start giving the inventory to people like you um, that watch our content, that are involved with us, that uh, want to support us financially. Um, and that's something that uh, we've we've been taking up and have really uh, enjoyed it in terms of uh, just getting to promote, put more things on the website, allowing you guys to tell us what you enjoy. There's been a whole bunch of people that have given us a lot of feedback on what they like to buy we've, we've bought some raw stuff we bought some uh graded stuff we bought some newer type stuff that we normally don't buy so uh <clears throat> i guess what the whole point of this conversation is is that if you want something bad enough um you're gonna have to chase it if you're at a show if you're at home if you're on the road like you have to go after it you have to be the per the best person you can be all day long, every day, and sometimes it's difficult, especially for me, I was laying in bed at like 6 o'clock, I didn't know what I was supposed to do, but like I said, go after things that you that you enjoy, um, and also just try to better yourself every day as a coin dealer, uh, try new things, um, and improve on your processes, we've been uh, trying to improve on processes since we've been here as well, how we catalog things correctly, how we put things in order, um, who are the people we need to reach out to at home? Um, who do we need to talk, talk to, give them a call? All these things are so important um, for you as a person when you're growing as a business. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video. Let's get back to some coins. Here's a, something that we actually didn't get at the shop, but we ended up getting from uh, one of our uh, buyers at, on um, Instagram. And he actually sells to us a lot as well. Um, this coin has a little bit of a cleany feel to it, uh, but it does uh, have a, a lot of luster still left on the coin. I don't think this coin would have uh, 58 just because of all the uh, the hits in the fields. 
and also uh, just the amount of circulation that has happened on the coin to make it uh, less uh, than a 58. And as you can see, there's a lot of hits on the face there, a lot of chatter out in the fields when, when we start to carousel it. But uh, let's flip it over and take a look at it. And basically, we're trying to aim for full breast feathers when you're trying to get an upgrade to a 58. Um, if this coin was a 58, um, it's like a $2,000 coin. Um, but it is a 55 based on the characteristics that it has. It did pass the, the check for, with NGC. It looks a little cleany, um, which does take it down a notch. Uh, they do pass most of these coins most times because they've been through so much. They have a little leniency on them. But I think this coin is accurately graded at AU55, and this one is being sent off to a new home. I post a lot of stuff on the website, by the way, guys, so it's something you got to have to take a look at. Um, we post things kind of as soon as we get them, and sometimes um, our videos don't back up to when uh, coins are posted, unless it's a very specific time, like the PCGS submission video that you guys saw a few videos back. So make sure you're checking the website every video. You're going to you're gonna see all the new things that we post. We post things three or four times a week, and they're always good things, priced very well. Um, but let's check out this 1881cc, and as you can see, there's a big, huge uh, scratch in the left field there. Starting to get a little chatter on the face as well. Um, I think the coin is accurately graded just because of all the... Um, the hits on the face there, you can almost see uh, start to a coin roll right uh, above the lips, under the nose. Um, and it's there's um, right at the start of the face as well. The coin overall is a, a very nice blast white coin. And um, I, I like the luster on the reverse. I think, um, you know, on an off day, this coin could have 60 Ford. Uh, but when you zoom in a little bit on the eagle there, you can see a little bit of a bigger hit towards the bottom of the left uh, wing uh, coming into the body there. Overall, though, the strike is very nice. I do enjoy the coin overall. Um, it's just a, a very nice blast white coin. Um, sometimes you're finding the 81 cc's just not in an attractive state. But like I said, Blake, Christie, Luis, and the whole team, including Sonny, hooked us up with a coin like this. So we are very thankful for that. Hey, everybody. This is Drew. I wanted to thank a few people in this episode for all the business you guys have been doing lately. Thank you, Richard. Uh, thank you, David. You just bought uh, our terminal towing coin from our PCGS submission. I appreciate that. Uh, thank you, Douglas. You're the man. Thank you for buying some raw stuff from us. Uh, thank you, Rodney. You sent in a few orders. I really appreciate that. Uh, thank you, John, for buying the 63 plus. You got a great coin. Thank you, thank you, Jason. Jason's been buying up a bunch of stuff. Jason's the man. Thank you, Jason. And Thomas has been buying up a lot of raw stuff too. I really appreciate you, Thomas. But uh, let's get back to the episode. Here's a decent OGH uh, Walking Liberty half dollar. Uh, we grabbed this at the shop too. It's got that crusty original feel to it. Uh, sometimes these coins are over dipped, but based on it being in the OGH, um, not too many things I think happen to this coin. Um, and you know, just like I said, it has a nice original feel to it. And sometimes when someone says original, that basically means it was, you know, it's crusty. Um, it, it does have a little bit of unattractiveness to it. Most of the time, uh, collectors are either looking for that blast white or nicely toned. Um, and I would say this one is, you know, it, people would call it original instead of crusty, like I said. So I think it's still a decent coin. I got it for a reasonable price. And so most times I'll mark this way under retail because um, the OGH is a good factor of it, but it doesn't have that leaning to the right of beautifully toned or leaning to the left of beautifully uh, blast white. Um, but uh, it's a nice coin nonetheless, especially when you're starting to move into walkers. Walkers have been picking up a lot lately. Um, and sometimes you start off with a more of affordable coin like the 4060. They're, they're pretty uh, comparable coins to get right now. Um, this is an 1880S Morgan Dollar graded MS63. Still has that nice flash to it. Uh, and basically when I'm looking at coins either at the shop or at a show, um, I'm looking for that attractive feel to it. But also the price matters a lot. Um, they gave me great deals because they know I'm a dealer. They know I work hard. And, uh, you know, they, they, they want to support us as, as dealers and they want to uh, make sure that they have a constant flow of inventory when they try to sell stuff. 
Um, they are ma mainly a bullion shop, but they do uh, find a lot of nice coins. 1909 has VDB, 1914D. Uh, someone was actually sorting through wheat pennies there, and they said they found those. So maybe I'll get an opportunity to crack at getting those when they get back. Very excited about that. Um, I'd love to have that in the shop because a lot of guys were asking about the 1909 S VDB that were in a few episodes back. And ever since then, I've been really hunting for some because you guys deserve great coins and deserve great prices. Like I said, you guys give of your time and sometimes of your treasure when you buy nice coins on the website. And believe it or not... Um, P stars have been flying out of the out of the shop lately, so we picked up another really nice blast white one. Um, there are a few spots on the coin which does take away from the attractiveness uh, to most collectors, but it doesn't have any any haze to it. Um, the luster is still beaming off the coin. Um, it's just a nice common coin for um, a collector that's moving into the space. Maybe you're a P Stellar guy, maybe you're a Mercury Mercury Dime guy, maybe you're a Walker guy, starting to move into something. Uh, just like the Peace Dollars, there are actually not too many dates and mints uh, for this series. So, um, watch, keep an eye out for these. And uh, also, if you guys do end up looking at this coin on the website, check the last photo. Uh, this coin ended up did di do getting hit or did getting hit by a uh, something. I don't know if someone dropped it on the ground or or what happened, but nonetheless, still a very nice coin. Let me show you guys just a few more today. We have this 1881S, Young Details, this 1904. Um, I don't know what's wrong with the 1881S. Maybe it was a rough day at the shop. Um, but I think that this luster here on the face, I think someone put a chemical there. And if you guys actually have seen a few of Coin Help Use videos, he basically talks about how the luster should be going uh, all... When you, when you start to carousel it, the luster should be going on to the, the face. Basically, it has these ridges on it, um, but when you do aim the coin down, it looks like the face is a little dark, like it's lost its luster, like someone put a chemical on it. Other than that, I haven't really seen too many issues with the coin, um, and so most of the time, uh, we just stick by the sticker. Um, if this ends up helping someone in the future um, in terms of buying stuff uh, or selling stuff, we just we just look at the sticker on most things. We don't want to say, like, oh, we think this is a 65 coin and it's an on details holder. No. We want to make sure you guys uh, get the coin that you're paying for, get the coin that was uh, with the grade that is it signed. Um, and as you can see on the breast feathers, the luster is kind of gone on that too. I don't know what happened. I think they might have put something on there. But that's just me using my naked eye. Haven't really pulled out the loop for this coin. Um, but it is on a new way, a new home tomorrow. Uh, on to a new home tomorrow. But we'll be posting a lot of more Unk coins like this very soon. Last but not least, I wanted to show you guys this 1882S Morgan Dollar, the great MS64. It's got some un under, uh, underlying toning on the coin, but overall this is an example of an ugly coin. A coin that most collectors would pass on, a coin that uh, even most dealers would pass on, unless they got it for a great price. When I walked into the shop, they said, we're going to give you this for under 63 money. So that basically means when... Uh, they start to price things. Uh, gray sheet is 64 money. Gray, sh gray sheet 63 money, and they even put some a few bucks underneath that just because of how unattractive the coin is and how hard of a sell it might be. And so, basically, when you're buying an ugly tone coin, buy an ugly tone coin for the ugly tone price. Don't buy an ugly tone coin for uh, a beautifully blast white coin or. A toned coin. That's just something that you should stray away from, especially when buying uh, Morgan dollars or or any any coin in general. You, it's very hard sometimes to sell an ugly coin. But thank you guys for watching this part of the video. Let's get it to the outro. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you did enjoy our video, please leave a like. It supports our dream. You want to comment your thoughts? We like your thoughts. What do you think about the coins? What do you think about what we had to say? And subscribe. You gotta join the community. We're just, I mean, we're the best ones on here, let's be honest. And why do you want to subscribe? You don't want to miss an episode. I mean, we got great coins coming out, great information as a dealer coming out. Do all those things, and we'll see you in the next episode.